Welcome back to another video. As you may have seen in the title, today I am going to be setting up a 20 gallon brackish aquarium. Okay, so what I'm using is my brother's old 20 gallon long aquarium. Basically, his fish all kind of like died and we rehomed most of the, the rest of them into like my other tanks and the fish store. So I took off the rim of the aquarium as you can see and I added some foam padding underneath to, to, keep, to keep the structural support that the rim gave it. Also I painted the background of it black cause, so because it looks really neat and organized. And as you can see I got a little bit excited and I already added the sand but that doesn't mean I can't still have a video on it but I also took out a lot of sand that I put in because there was way too much sand. And there's also some planted aquarium substrate, if you can see back there, that is for some mangroves that I'm eventually going to get here. Also, over here at my aquarium, these guppies over here are going to be acclimated very slowly to brackish water. So I'm going to start by setting up the aquarium as a freshwater one. And I'm going to get guppies and bumblebee gobies that have been raised in freshwater and some neurite snails. And every, I'm gonna to top the aquarium off with some like brackish water and it's gonna slowly get higher and higher and higher onto salinity till it's eventually at the salinity I want, which is 1.08 to 1 .0, 1 1.008 to 1.012. Okay, for, so for scaping materials, I have old rock from my saltwater aquarium. I got some, some um, crushed coral from my favorite aquarium store, the Wet Salt Tropical Fish in Portland, Oregon. Check them out if you're ever in Portland. Um, also some old driftwood from some older aquariums. I got, I collected some shells and like pe old pieces of decorative coral that I got like from places and yeah, boil I boiled it for a while. I have the sand in the aquarium is Carib Sea sand. I also got a marine lin penguin filter by wheel. I also have this old heater that's going to go in a tank from the river, my rather river's old aquarium. Also have instant ocean aquarium salt. I'm um, not aquarium salt. It's a marine salt and I have a refractometer. These two will only be useful when I start increasing the salinity of the aquarium to a reef's salinity. Okay so let's get scaping. Also, these are two little, like, um, bowls I have full of plants that I just for fun. I never filmed setting them up because I just didn't think about that at the time. So here is a front view. I have a little axolotl window fling from Aqua Pros, which is a really great YouTube channel. You should check it out. Also, this little one, which has a little turtle statue and, like, some amethyst and anubias and some other plants which i don't know about also here's a top down view from this one it has a really nice old light from my old data solas aquarium also this light is really ridiculous it's too big but it's the only light i had and it, it i've had this light since i was five years old from my first aquarium ever anyway yep now let's actually get to escaping the aquarium i also went around to my tanks and i got some brackish tolerant plants like java fern um anubius and where's the java moss i think there's java moss in here too yep and this java moss right here tiny bit they all will grow so now i'm gonna start escaping the aquarium Gonna get back to the video when the rest of the aquarium is finished getting scaped. So, see you in a second when, I, when, the, when the tank is all clear. So it's the next day and the aquarium is pretty clear. I added some duckweed and some leaf litter and some other plant. plant. I don't know what this is. I think it's Sylvania, but I'm not sure. And I have my little guppies acclimating here. These, the tank isn't brackish yet, so these guys are just gonna go in and when I get the little bumblebee gobies and some snails and possibly brackish water shrimp, I'll, be, I'll start acclimating the tank to brackish water. Eventually it'll be mangroves over here and over here. 
And that's why I hung the light up so high from the this shelf. So the man grows and from the girl. Also, that's why the room was and Lilith, obviously. And okay, so now let's add the guppies into the aquarium. Okay, so I'm gonna be just letting the guppies swim out of this bag because I it's from my aquarium and I really trust my aquarium's water on being healthy. So they're not like fish or guppies at all. So there they go, all four of them. They're in the tank. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video.